I want to provide you an update regarding CDC's guidance for fully vaccinated people. Over the course of the pandemic, we are continuously gathering data and evidence to inform our guidance and decision making. We now have numerous reports in the literature that demonstrate the safety and real world effectiveness of the authorized vaccines. On this slide, there are three recently published studies, one from Israel published in the Journal of the American Medical Association or JAMA on the top and two from the United States, both published in CDC's Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report, which all show that COVID-19 vaccines work. In Israel, there was a demonstrated 97% vaccine effectiveness against symptomatic and 86% effectiveness against asymptomatic infection in over 5,000 healthcare workers. In the United States, vaccines were 90% effective against any infection in nearly 4,000 healthcare workers and 94% effective against hospitalizations from COVID-19 in an evaluation across 24 hospitals in 14 states. Additionally, we are accumulating data that our authorized vaccines are effective against the variants that are circulating in this country. On this slide, you can see a study published just last week that demonstrates how effective the Pfizer vaccine is against the common circulating variants in the United States, B117, as well as other variants like B1351. Additional studies confirm that the Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are also effective against circulating variants. Finally, we know that in the rare event that people get infected after a vaccine, the resulting infection is more likely to have a lower viral load, be shorter in duration, and likely less risky of transmission to others. Considering all of these factors, the data on vaccine effectiveness, the science on their ability to protect against circulating variants, and our growing understanding of the low risk of transmission to others, combined with universal access to vaccines for those 12 and older, today, CDC is updating our guidance for fully vaccinated people. Anyone who is fully vaccinated can participate in indoor and outdoor activities, large or small, without wearing a mask or physical distancing. If you are fully vaccinated, you can start doing the things that you had stopped doing because of the pandemic. We have all longed for this moment when we can get back to some sense of normalcy. Based on the continuing downward trajectory of cases, the scientific data on the performance of our vaccines and our understanding of how the virus spreads, that moment has come for those who are fully vaccinated. Now, if you are immune compromised, you will most definitely want to talk to your doctor before giving up your mask. Also, locations such as healthcare facilities will continue to follow their specific infection control recommendations. And lastly, this past year has shown us that this virus can be unpredictable. So if things get worse, there is always a chance we may need to make change to these recommendations. But we know that the more people are vaccinated, the less cases we will have and the less chance of a new spike or additional variants emerging. 